On the ice, business as usual at Winnipeg Jets practice. Off of it, players' union reps like Mark Scheifele looking for answers from NHLPA leadership. You know, it'll be more of a more of listening for me, I'd say, than anything. Similar feelings around the league. I'm just hungry to kind of get to the bottom of, of what was known. NHLPA Executive Director Donald fears the latest being called out for failing to act after Kyle Beach said he was sexually assaulted by former Chicago video coach Brad Aldrich. Last week, Chicago admitted they ignored the complaint to focus on their 2010 Stanley Cup run. Beach has since gone public. The one thing that I want to make sure that comes from this is change. I am sorry for what he has been through. Today, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman said the league will review its harassment policies and set up a network to help people at all levels of hockey report abuse. If this horrible situation should serve any constructive purpose, it's to demonstrate that this will not be tolerated. This incident, uh, like no other, is uh, positioned the NHL to be leaders in this space. On Hockey Night in Canada, victims advocate Sheldon Kennedy called out the NHL saying it needs a culture change. He didn't hear much about that today. A lot of times people don't feel safe enough. They don't feel confident to go for help. Over 25 years, Kennedy's respect group has trained 1.7 million amateur athletes and coaches. If the NHL wants help, he says, it can call them. It hasn't. Beach's lawyer says missing is a commitment to victims. That minimizes what happened, you know, as though the error was just an error in communication instead of an error in a disgusting culture that existed. The NHLPA has also apologized. Tonight, it's holding a vote into whether to have an independent investigator look into how it handled the situation. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.